Here we go. Chapter one, begin. A night to remember. Here we go. Hello? Can I do a control? Is this like a controller thing? Can I control this game? I can control this game. There we go. I'm Guy Brush Freepwood. I want to be a pirate. I can A to look around or A to look at. Again, you can always like say stuff as well in chat. <laughs> if you think I should do something. Okay. Great. This is my inventory, I think. Uh, let's try using the well. Okay, this is just like, just like uh, Detroit Become Human. <laughs> We're going in the well. I have not been back to him years, but it was the last place left. Wait, did, did he start just like that? He not have a cutscene? Yeah. It's telling a story. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. The mattress. Have you got around here? Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. I think this is like a flashback kind of thing, or flash forward, or flashback. Thank you, Teal. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Ooh. I believe this game came out in 2015, so it's. You know, it's nine years old. <laughs> it's not new, but it's, well, I guess nine years is kind of a long time, so it's kind of an old game. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a long time ago. Two I don't know really like contraptions you guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. Yeah, I like the, the art style. Oh, jeez. And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. <laughs> since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. Beds on chains. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Oh, worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Hmm. I bet the bridge is made of mattresses as well. Nestle. Beneath a slumbering pile of <gasps> teeth and claws was... Fabled Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. 
King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to... Thank you, Tim. shinier hat to my collection. Let's explain later in the in the game. Look at that there. Okay. What's this? It's broken. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Hmm. This is the 200 baby challenge. The butter turner there. What was this one? Tasha Bell. So the missing handle was booby trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart. Bit of an Indiana Jones situation. Then I used my cleverness to hide. Oh gosh. Um Under the bed. Cool dragon. Flint Rider? Yeah. Luckily, that half blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. All right. Can I fix it now? Does this automatically fix? I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Oh. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctor. What did you use to fix the broken switch? The handle. Good, at least we were quiet about it. <laughs> the dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch. Oh, poor dragon. The cave wall. This cave seemed to be filled with failed inventions. Kind of like um, Shrek, a little bit. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Poor dragon, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, spiky bed uh, with a skeleton on top. Whoa! Skills. Oh, jeez. Hide, 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 hide. Okay, so don't, don't go on the, don't go on the bones then.
No problem. Oh, jeez. Ah, Fast Captain. Welcome to the Fast Captain. Congratulations. I think I'll be quiet. Welcome to the Fast Captain. You know, the dragon or something. I might go I'm not going to the dragon, am I? I'm gonna go up here. Whoever designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. Hmm. We gotta hit that switch. Let's see what we have. Uh... Oh, yes. Comes a free hand. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. First person view here. First try. Lucky that wasn't loud enough to wake the dragon. Oh my gosh. The mirror called out to me. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Um. A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Oh, okay. There's like big old stakes there. And then you ring the bell, right? It's like a Pez dispenser, yeah. I feel like I want to go down there, do I? I can't go down there and do it at the same time. Maybe we, maybe we, uh... Oh, it goes over there. Wait a minute, what if I do this? This could be a bad idea, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> um, from what animal does those, those steak come from? <laughs> I died. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> well, some, sometimes it goes over to the other side. Uh, Probably its owner alive. So I'll get on the next one. What it's eating. <laughs> yeah, what kind of animal is it? And also, how'd they get that many?
Okay, so we're gonna do it again, right? And I'm gonna go up. Because I know it goes on the other side. On this one. Oh, gosh. Okay. So what the next one? Now he's asleep, right? Are we doing again? I, don't know. Mm, I think maybe you want him to be in the farther away one. He can't go over there though. We're seeing a lot of meat here. He's asleep now, so maybe he's okay. No, okay. Okay, yeah. See, so we want him to be on the other side. And then we ring the bell. Make the dragon fat. It's like the uh, the movie um, um, Dun Dungeons and Dragons. You see that movie? It's gonna be called Big Fat Dragon. No, I didn't. That's oh, really Watch good. It. It's good. It's got this real big fat dragon. <laughs> So now maybe he's eating that. I do it again, and I'm over there by the middle. You should see it's really good. Go 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 go. Ooh, it reflects him as the king, maybe? <laughs> That's cool. Bye bye! Oh gosh, okay. Chasing. Oh jeez. Um, um, um. <laughs> ah, we'll get the next one, my right, channel. What am I supposed to be doing? We'll get the next, next one. Oh, it's done. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well. <laughs> Gotta wash his plums. Uh. Um. <laughs> Mommy, yes. You escaped with only a flesh wound. Cut the wire, cut, cut this thing. There we go. <laughs> Famed gamer. Whoa. Dragon. Nice. Stop running. Oh gosh. Go, 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 go. Oh, bed's in the way. Sorry, one second. Hey, 
Hey. I'm gonna hang out. Come hang out and watch uh, King's Quest with us. Okay, what's King's Quest? It's a game. If you might remember oh, it. Okay. We played it one time together. I played with you? You played with me. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. G. She just left that one. She's like, that didn't happen, and she ran away. <laughs> <laughs> Um, to be back. Uh, With a magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. You hanging out then? Yeah, that's cool. Yes, Saffron said hi. You totally just walked yeah, away. Yeah, hi. Oh, I, oh, I didn't have my headphones on. Hi. <laughs> Did he make you stay up really late last night? Um, I may have played after the stream finishes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did I seriously play this game with you? Or You'll you... probably recognize it. I think we played with the kids. You played it with the kids? This one episode. Uh oh. In that split second, I had three choices in front of me. Okay. Any would clear my path to safety. Is that and Christopher all Lloyd? Would have rippling consequences. Yes, it is. Oh, cool. Cool dragon. Uh, okay, hang on. Don't kill the dragon. Well, hang on. What are our choices here? Shoot the um, shoot the uh, spinny thing, shoot the uh, the bell, or shoot the eye. Okay, I'm going to let you choose, chats. Shoot the spinny thing, one. Shoot the bell, two. Shoot the dragon's eye is three. Okay? I don't know what does what. Well, I assume shooting the eye would be bad for the dragon, but I'll let you decide. Don't shoot the poor dragon. Spinny thing, the bell, or the eye. What does what? Do you know? Or? I don't know. Well, they're saying bell. Also spinny thing, but also uh Nobody's saying shoot the dragon. Less people are saying shoot the dragon. <laughs> Some people are saying Some it. people are cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh it's between bell and spinny thing. Will the bell distract him, you think? Like I don't know. Just said that I've got Will the spinny thing like release him or second, I have three something? options. And so I'm letting chat decide here. Is that because you can't decide? Yes. Duh, that's how I do it too. I can't decide. You guys decide for me. <laughs> All right, we're going to go with Bell, which slightly wins out. Okay. Oh, because the Bell means food. Oh, his poor wings. Look how <laughs> cute you are. I like the style. Yeah. I'm Guy from Guy from Freewood. Freewood. <laughs> Guy brush, guy free brush, wood. free wood. My he dragon. messed that one up. He looks like um, uh, Prince Philip from uh, Sleeping Beauty. Of my strength, I With his hat of the well and headed and back. his red cape. He's talking. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams are many hidden adventures. All right. Let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. How did you know shooting the bell would distract him? Over the Chat years, I realized <laughs> that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was very hungry. I, too, would be violently angry if I could only eat when my neglectful owner rang the bell. 
I know it was a sneaky trick, but I certainly wasn't going to set a drag loose on the town or participate in any more abuse. You really thought that through, Grandpa. I would have tricked them, too. Back home, they call me Gwendolyn the Smarty Pants. You come from a long line of logically minded nobles and one very clever dentist. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Mmm. Sounds good. Marty, we must go back, back to the future. Who's this kid? Well, hello, cousin. Oh. <laughs> cousin. I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa stories, especially the ones with dragons. Oh, yes. The legendary beast he outsmarted with its own dinner bell. I don't know if he forgets that I've heard that story before or if he just doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm I don't think so. Sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. Oh. I see. On. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and Ooh. finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Gwendolyn, you can set those on the nightstand. Is it potions and things? Take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. Each need to fuss over twenty-five bottles are there. Let's talk about far <laughs> more important issues, like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense! If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all. I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Oh, um, oh, um, what do I like? What do we like, wife? Uh, what's it say? Uh... Act of kindness in victory. A quick-witted distraction. A, uh, a deft maneuver. I'd have to go with an act of kindness. Would you? 
Yeah. Treating my opponents with respect. <laughs> Surprise, what opens up to you? A lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know. It reminds me of a song. Before, when I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. Oh. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. This is before the well, dragon Triumph, scene. This looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. Oh, look at that thing. That's cute. Cool. Like a gerbil. Oh, God. Um, I fell, I fell, and I fell him some more. Oh, I can control myself. Oh, gosh. Is that good? After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Right, well, let's see. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. Hmm. Let's go. Oh. Whoa. Have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Okay, there's a horn there. All right, write that down. Uh, I guess go back. Where's Lily to write that down? <laughs> um, Princess Princess Bride vibes. I'm sure. Grandpa, you can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. Well, I guess we can go back up there then? After all that graceful repelling, I was certainly not headed back that way. Oh, wait, okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> have a good night, Dragon. No! <laughs> I like it being told as a story. It's kind of funny. Yeah. It's like, no, I did not do that, do Okay, well, is there like another another path? Anything over here I can go? Gotta find oh. the mouthpiece thing. Okay, I was just trying to say, see if there's another path I can go down. Stop playing it wrong. Yeesh. <laughs> just kidding. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. Nice forest, though. Oh, look at you. Can I pet you? This game is pretty. You know we should play. Game? Yeah, like, like 2000. Did they redo it or no? This is 2015. Okay. 
So about nine years Lovely. old. You know, okay, we should play at some point too. The Wallace and Gromit adventure Ooh, game. Yes! I wonder where that I wonder where we can find that at. That was a telltale game. Somebody find it! Yeah, it's cave. I think it's cave is actually magical. Hey, what's that on the tree? I oh, yeah, actually is there like a prompt on that one? Did you ever play that one? It's newer than Sims 4. I mean, yeah, technically. Ouch. By one it's year. It's on Steam. It's on Steam? Yeah. Oh, good old games as well. I remember playing that game. That was a Telltale game. What was this? That wheel seemed freshly broken. Okay. Can you climb that tree? Pretty much sure if the, the prompt comes up at the bottom, then I can do things. We got, um, I got money on me. I got five gold. That's pretty much what I have in my inventory right now. Ooh, okay. Who are you? Stand back, you dirty thieves! Wah! Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like no. Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Tell me, is it more of a ow oh, or a oh, oh, oh? Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, huh, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've molded over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every virgin is out, and my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I the swear that leap straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Could you repeat that? No. I think, I think, I think we're good. Uh, nope. <laughs> I didn't catch any of that. To repeat it. Oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns. <laughs> the one has an eye patch. <laughs> Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? I don't know. I looked up a so cheat did you code. Not need that mouthpiece for the horn thing? That was well, maybe just like I, a side no, thing? No, maybe I or? do. I don't know. Okay. It all comes together. I don't know. Just a little oop here, a little elbow grease there, and thar, nabs it. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Oh, okay. did you go past a wheel earlier? Yeah, that will look like his wheel, but I'm going to go get it, maybe. Uh... You have a magic, uh, bow and arrow? Um, not right now. I have his five gold. This is before that. This is like before the dragon pier, though. Give him a fez. The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another solution. Hmm. We really know where else to go, but I guess we'll go back across this river. Go this way. Eh? And there's nothing down here. But this tree. Hey! Thank you for the three months of the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. Uh, we climb this tree, maybe. Oh, here's a thing up here. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox. Wow, oh, there's a toolbox. Yeah, oh. 
Okay. Shame. The only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. Oh, I don't want to use it on everything. You did? Uh, I mean, maybe I can. We have an axe now. There's no reason to chop down a perfectly good tree. They have the tree at the back where we, uh, they have a river tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Who else have played this game? I supposedly have. I think you watched me play it. I probably watched you play it. Well, yeah. You said I played yeah, it. I don't play games. Well, no, I mean, I we played it together, as in I played it and you kind of, like, helped out. Oh, okay. That seems more reasonable. Oh, it's like Minecraft now. <laughs> <laughs> that missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Oh, puns. Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. <laughs> it's one of my favorite games. My husband and I played it together. All the memories. Yeah. There's like multiple chapters that I've only ever played the very first one. And this was a long time ago, so... Why didn't you play more of it? This style is awesome. This is right well, up your alley. You like these type of... We'll play with the kids and the kids got bored. Here, kitty, kitty. Not a kitty, not a kitty! Our children get bored? No. By that, I mean yes. Okay. No wheels are there. What if we use the axe for the... Oh, here we go. No, I did not use the hatchet to skid that growling axe. <laughs> <laughs> no. Still the wheels. Is this Peter and the wolf playing in the background? Ooh, a bunch of fawns. An overgrown patch. The spiniferous Ooh, there's the well. obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Can we cut down? I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. Mm. We'll keep an eye on that one. I know, it's a great night. Ooh, a city. Well, let's try the door first. Door's closed. Okay, now we shall climb. Assassin's Creed style. <laughs> And then will you fall into a big old bin of hay? The town square was no. eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? Hmm. Let's unlock the door. There we go. Right, round thing. A bakery. Ooh, Ooh a big old cheese. Is that cheese or bread? No, uh, I want a donut. I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. I think it's like a magic cable. That's cool. I want one of those. Tip that here. sign was asking for tips 
and there was a metal pan to collect coins. The delectable goods looked tasty, Ooh. but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. Uh -huh. Curly girl, leave a tip. You think I should? That might be nice. You did steal a stale bread. Okay, fine. Tip for the bread. Oh, I know. I only got five coins. No good deed goes unreturned. I decided to leave some coins for the bread. There. Okay. You ready for this? <laughs> hey, if I said follow as well, appreciate that. Uh, I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity shop. Nothing seemed to be brewing yet. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. Okay. Well, we have the wheels. Let's get out of here. No mouthpiece? Um... Well, the guy said he'd take me over there. Huh? Let's have a cheeky look over here. Oh, hello. Hello, could I squeeze by you gents? No, we are here to guard the town entrance and keep out any riffraff whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rap scallions would run amok in the empty shops. Back away, boy. We're on the lookout for intruders. I mean, I'm kind of in the town too, you know. Blacksmith. What's sort of muck in the like blacksmith? A blacksmith shop of swords. Oh, I see. There's like multiple. There's a shield here, so we could have probably taken anything. Um, we took the bread, so we're probably good. Yeah, I went off to see the uh, the tournament, which we're trying to get to. So there's one bag with our bread. I think the bread is the best option. Rap scallion. Oh, jeez. That's kind of scary. Oh, a shortcut. Oh, okay. Oh, this way. Creepy music, though. Um, am I going the right direction? Yeah, yeah. Because we're going for the creepy woods. Oh, okay. It's all. Do I really have to hear the story? You should have shut the door. Tis, tis. Ever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. <laughs> all right, here we go. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Here's this bread. This might do the trick. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarbles Noose, this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully, it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharge. I've got just a fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this will do the trick. Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Um, that sounds like a good deal. Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's Vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. There's multiple endings in this game, right? There's multiple, like, things we could have done. Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! Abyss! Stop! <laughs> We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Th thanks for the hospitality. No 
no time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Um, so constantly the, the game, there are three options. Basically, kindness, cleverness, and bravery. There's no, you did it, this, so you suck. Though, so you, um, just so you do. Okay. Okay. I'll do me. Back away, back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all <laughs> the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. <laughs> Can't those knights check the list? Do you mean <laughs> Kyle and Larry? <laughs> They're Kyle off duty. And Larry. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These knight hopefuls will figure out a solution soon. And then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. Ahem. Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard once commanded must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance. Of a life or death nature. I stand corrected. And we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. Okay. Well, dash it off. Well, I guess we have to install the game then. I tried. I, I tried, people. <laughs> what are these people doing? The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Okay, let's go this way then. Let's see what's over here. Oh, some bees. Come at me, bees! <laughs> Come at me, bees! <laughs> Gone over here. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Be in distress. And get somebody to be in distress. Distress! Abandon post! <laughs> <laughs> the music! Learn how, how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was <laughs> talking to me. <laughs> oh, jeez. You gotta do something else to keep him there. Yeah, maybe the, the bees. Oh, the bees. crazy that which prime. Hey, thank you. 27 months. Cuz come at me, bees. Yeah, I got to do this. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. And then do the tree. Distress! Abandon post. Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. Oh, the this tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Not good. It's me. It's me. Yay! Good job, Gloobies. Yay, Gloobies. Solving the bee problem. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. <clears throat> your hero is thinking. Animation reminds me of the old uh, kid shows from my childhood. Yeah, totally. I love the animation. Oh, there's a horn here. Okay. Doesn't another happen. horn and another missing piece. Hmm. Well, I know the answer, but I want to see how all of you will solve it. Oh my gosh, that is the guy from Princess Bride. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you 
look like a little man who wants to do big things. <laughs> Tree here. Chop the tree. Inconceivable. <laughs> hey. Down there, though. What a meanie. Mm hmm. Okay, well, we can cross over here, though. Wait, can I see this rope here? Can I take this rope? Seems like it might be coming handy. Oh. Oh. Wow. Do we have that rope now? We do have the rope now. So that's good. Give me a second. I have the perfect plan. This guy's voice is just the best. Yeah, the voice actually is really good. Well, we can go across here. Is there anything over here I can check out? Oh, <laughs> They're fine. Be a tiger. Pardon Whoa. me. Wow. Really? Oh no. What did you do? The guy pushed me out of the way. Oh. Why is everyone so mean to you? The so knights are rude. Okay. Well, they're all over there except for the uh, the one guy. I can't go anywhere else. You can't ignore me forever. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm deep in thought. You cut? No cutting. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. Want to build a rope swing? Okay, suit yourself. I have this lovely ticket I could share. No? You're gonna regret it. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's just the horn. Um, okay. Uh, I think these Look guys. How pretty this game is. Can I give him the ticket? Wooden entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. That makes sense. Nope. The only place I can go is down here or up there, so. Help you the something? tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. Can I do that? Oh. 
I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. I think it's a tad annoying. <laughs> oh, I made like a little laugh, though. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> they got tied together. <laughs> With a rope? Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. And now we use the rope on it to tie together. Instead of just launching it into the water. <laughs> See, we didn't stay together. <laughs> now we can't try using it. Let's go. What? Oh my gosh. How? Is he just walking across the, because it's shallow? Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> Game is awesome. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. That's fine. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a hey, friend. Hey, Ninja. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret <laughs> club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. So cool. Let me know how I can help. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust him. Yeah. Maybe not, but he was nice. He's all whoop. Oh, whoop's done. Oh, climb over here. Hey, Zavetta, how you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> so close. <laughs> Eighty-four months. That's amazing. What's it called that it's saying? Glue booty. Glue booty. You called it glue booty. <laughs> I mean, the chat when it came up with the glue booty. Booty. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Another horn thingy. All right. Another horn and another <laughs> missing piece. Right, head on inside. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. No. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting-to-know-you type exercises. You know, 
An icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction, and duels of a cutthroat nature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test schedule. if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask. What were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Uh-oh. Uh, I didn't hear about the date change. My mom wouldn't let me leave before I finished breakfast. <laughs> I don't know what uh, extinguishing means. Extenuating. What should we do, wife? Oh, man. I think I'd say I didn't hear about the date change. Okay. Well, I, I never heard the date was switched. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. <laughs> now, go on, mingle with the other contestants. Find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. Okay. Let's meet all the people. This guy, let's meet this guy first. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, he gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those nights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. A I'm, bee puns. I'm Graham. I'll leave you alone. What's your hiding under... Your hand. Well, let's say my name. I'm Graham. Graham. Cr no, no last names. I don't even want your first name. Ouch. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently <laughs> in the process of rebranding myself, <laughs> starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Acorn. Uh, what are you hiding on your hand? What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Uh... Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. Okay, that's that What one. was your name again, Sir Fatso? Uh, it's wow. Acorn. Wow. Get it right or pay the price. Okay, I think that's, uh... I'll leave you be. Go away. What we could do there. Um, <laughs> but feel the riches. With hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? Greg. <laughs> How do you not recognize this? Well, proportioned face. Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And uh, of course I know who you are. You're... You're... Uh... Sir Ten Sir... of himself? Sir Ten of himself. Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... That jerk who pushed me into the river. <laughs> that that woman's jerk elf. who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> They're the Gaston characters, guys. What you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... You're... Every woman's dream or going to have to wait. I'll be right back. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting yeah, right here. Yeah, the Gaston. Carrot. Carrot. This guy's kind of a silent type here. Hello, my name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Ah, Chaka. So, where do you hail from? Ajaka. I see. Sounds exotic. 
Um. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? A jaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand whittled sapling arrows myself. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? A jaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. Okay. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's <laughs> so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. A squirrel? Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. Hey, Ellie. Thank you for that raid. Um... To work together and expose his secrets. Thank you so much for that. We're playing King's Quest. It's an adventure game. Uh... What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> You got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. Okay. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Squirrel. Um. Wasn't there? A, there wasn't there. Wasn't here. What did the guy keep under his armor? What? What are you talking about? Make you say squirrel. Well, squirrel. Was it weird? A little. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I know everything yet. Yeah, so. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Sure, I guess so. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Question one. Okay. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Oh, um... A chaka. All right, next question. Yes. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Oh, um... A chaka. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Um, what is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? A chaka. I see. <laughs> Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? It's probably oh. his amazing trusty bow. How did I do? Okay, let's see here. <laughs> tallying. Tallying. It looks like you got one answer correct. Ooh. Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. <laughs> Return to me when you're ready to take the test Sorry. again. Um, They're lucky they let you take it multiple times. Boy, if this is game over me. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, Have you you're done. Have my name? Uh, what's your name? Uh, every woman's dream, I guess. Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love. Yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Greg. Talk to Acorn again? <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... Going to have to wait one second. Oh, I'll be right back. Exhausted all his ideas. Right here, Garrett. I love that he gives you a different name every single mm -hmm. time, though. What do you want? Um. I uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives squirrel. under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing Whisper. I can't stomach. And she 
Well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. Ooh. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? <laughs> the bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. What was your name again? Sir Balrus? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. Okay. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Was he referring to this guy's squirrel? Was Whisper been? Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Whisper. Correct. Well. Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third, hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it, free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. <laughs> Good day, Whisper. Should I take the test now? Do I know the thing? I think you know most of it. You think so? I don't remember. You don't remember. I talked to Manny again. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whisper. What can you tell me about Whisper? 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 His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrogant are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? Okay. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Yes, Graham. You want That's some about... dirt on someone? Okay. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm right. trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Um, let me talk to him again, maybe. Ah, Chaka. Do you say a Chaka? No. Good chat. I'm Everything gonna is the get same. back to the chivalry test. I'll try what you didn't try before. I tried all the options. It's the same options. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Yes. Let's do it. Question one. Okay, great. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament? That speaks multiple languages. Achaka. Achaka. No, because he's just only he's saying Achaka. He doesn't speak anything else but that. So maybe Does go Acorn Manny. Talk Ma oh, Manny. Okay. Manny, we're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. Mm. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Achaka. I go Achaka. Achaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Uh, Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure. That's what his full I name. See. You need to get his full name. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Oh, uh, um, Princess Madeline. Yeah, yeah, Princess Madeline. Yeah. Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Yes! Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't Pockets. keep all you friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. 
You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Oh. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> wow, we each night hopeful we brought that need one. to bring back to the theater. Dun, the dun, dun, dun. One eye of a hideous beast. And due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Yeesh. Nothing to see here. <laughs> there are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. Mm -hmm. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Ooh. Whisper can do it. I I drove a car for the first time. Oh dang! Congratulations. Let's go. Yay! Driving Watch your fun. step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the queen died. Mm. And now, with the bridges mm. out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. Oh. <laughs> and she's out. Hey, dude. Keep out. Under construction. All right. Mm -hmm. So, how did you find an eye? Nudgeons. Thank you so much for that. Uh, He's a hideous beast lurking inside. Ouch! Rude! Seems like a waste of money. All I have, all I have is money. Shame. And these could have been carved into really nice jack-o'-lanterns. Hmm. Uh, well, the dragon scene was technically before, uh, after this. We we kind of like we telling the story out of order. Ooh, a big pumpkin. Whoa. That pumpkin what was, that? was housing squirrels. Too many squirrels for my taste. You need Princess Madeline of Avalon. Mm -hmm. Take the far fun berries and place them in the basket. I have to get these all picked before I can go home. 
Leave me be so I can finish my work. I'm almost done here. Okay. Can't do nothing there. Yeah. You know, it's an adventure game. Came out like nine years ago. It's, it's not new. Came out in 2015. Badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. Oh my gosh, look inside the town. It's like a wolf here. Whoa. Get out of here. Scram. Shoot. Beat it. Oh, what you got there? Ugh. These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack. Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep wolves. that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches. Patches, yes. Okay. I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. <laughs> um. Okay, so we got the uh, blacksmith. We've got the baker, and then. The potion shop. What do y'all think? Uh, well, she runs a society for that particular creature, doesn't she? Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. Hmm. What? Too sappy? <laughs> <laughs> the pawns! I have nothing to say. You warm up to it. <laughs> One for blacksmith, two for baker, three for potion charm. Uh, the reason was because uh, my partner was uh, out of town and. Ooh, hang on. Oh. I can't alt tab in this game. What did they say, wife? Uh, what? Scroll up. Although the reason was because my partner was out of town and my son had an allergic reaction to penicillin. Oh no! Oh no! Panic attack at the urgent care because our state insurance lapsed. Oh no! The nurses and the receptionists were so kind, and they helped you. Saw your son and helped you. That's awesome. Mm. There are great people out there for sure. Um. Kindness we... wins. Kindness wins. And we're gonna go with the potion shop. Lily! Lily! Just Lily, under the festival. Just Lily! Cat, I'm a kitty cat, and I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Good morning to you, Lily. Good morning. Because you know Lily just woke up. Oh, okay. Oh, you've been lurking? Okay. <laughs> That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy's no carrier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He's a thinking soul just like us. If he continues down this path, he will have no trouble defeating the contenders in this year's night tournament. That voice sounds really Sounds. familiar, too. Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. <laughs> it's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. No, that yeah. voice. There was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take okay. a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see.
We're looking for an eyeball, right? Sammy, 1, Sammy thank you. I always miss him this time of year. He dreamed of becoming a knight, too. I wish he would visit more. Or at least right. He was quite handy around the shop, though. Especially with potions. He'll return. Well, these have, oh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. It looked like some type of broken lantern. So I can click on one now. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. Yes. Do you have any eyes? Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. Hmm. I don't see your name on this list. Well, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every Sounds like guy brush a little bit. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? Brother Bear. Commentaries, addendums, this, and proclamations, that. It seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but Daventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast, but rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule makers. Mm. How much for that candle? Any, uh, your advice again. What are you brewing? Farewell, then. What are you brewing? That's one. So, I've just got to know what is brewing in that cauldron. Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle or a fly? Oh, this teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening! <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Ooh. Make something purple. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what. If you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. Like a pumpkin? Mm. Do I need that? I don't they know. said jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah. I'm assuming you'll need it at some Fare point. Fare well. May your quest be logic-filled. Okay. Why would they mention if you didn't need it? Well, yeah, obviously. Reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him this time of year. He dreamed of becoming a knight, too. I wish he would visit more. Or at least right. He was quite handy around the shop, though. Especially with there the, the cleverness no path. Oh, I mean, I'm obviously very clever, so. Of his own to seek. Uh, what are we doing now? Um. So, uh, we need a, like, a jack-o'-lantern, I guess, so, why, why we, do we want that again? She uses the scare off the wolves. 
Maybe that guy's dumb of his job now over here. And then he left his little stick. The cleverest Dr. Glue on. I have to get these old picks before I can go home. Oh. Leave me be so I can finish my work. He's not done. Make something of resemble an eye. West Tournament Theater, North Town Square, South Under Development coming next spring. <laughs> Should I visit the other shops, or is it the only one? That pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. I say you look at the other places, it can't hurt to see what... Maybe, it was his home here. Ah, thank you. Sorry about that. A new kind of horn, but the same result. We need a mouthpiece. We need the mouthpiece. It's down here. Some frogs. Wherever you are hiding, idiot beast, Whisper will find you. Do <laughs> squirrels count as hideous? To the daylight, you hideous beasts! Whisper, you do it! I was too slow to catch those frogs. I tried again, but it was no use. You gotta be fast. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time I tried to catch a frog? It was riveting. <laughs> a grand puns. I like the puns. All right. Me too. There's nothing quiet about. Don't know anything about. Don't know that area. Couple of dead ends, you know. One back this way. We don't have anything. We don't have anything new, though. What's this way? Okay, I came from this area. What's over here? All right, we'll go this way. Yeah, he just kind of looks at the broken pumpkin. Ooh, wait, what's this? No one should notice one bell missing. Ooh, a bell. Okay. Mm. What's this? Interesting. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man. And he left me with a daven tree to grow into the kingdom it is today. Hmm. The announcement board was covered until round two of the tournament. Okay. Um, keep going. Let's we'll check out this area here. We'll just check out all the areas. This is back in town. Okay, that's back in the town. All right, let's go back this way. And then we'll go over this way. We're just mapping out the entire area. Picking up whatever we can. Ooh, okay, what's this? Okay. Oh, what a peculiar trap. <laughs> okay, and then it's down here. All right, sugar shrooms. Sugar shrooms. Okay, we're getting some things now. We've got a bell. Maybe the other shops you. I guess we go to the other shops, yeah. It's, it it kind of sound like we had to pick one of the shops, though. Oh. Fantastical floating island. Only steps away. It's so floaty. You'll be amazed. Hmm. Okay. Is it up here? What's that? Oh. Don't worry. 
The Wetzels will be here soon, Princess Madeline. Each one has its own steps. Oh wait, here's my bow. I wasn't always the master archer you see before you now. How'd you learn? <laughs> we'll get to that part. That's my pet right there. Hmm. Okay. You think you get it? Ooh, a cave. You just <laughs> pranced into a dark cave filled with vicious wolves? You know, I'm not sure. Maybe I should pause for reflection. Don't go in a cave. Got it. I'll head down here and this way. Yeah, maybe a lantern. Yeah, kind of like Nancy Drew. You can, uh, you can Almost unalive there. yourself. World's greatest and only floating island. Don't turn right. No floating islands that way. Okay, we'll go this way then. Ooh. Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. My love, you're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. Hmm. Someone had set the scene for a lovely evening. Someone had set the scene hmm. for a lovely evening. Bees day, <laughs> that lovely meal. Y yay! I tucked the berries away for later, even though I was craving a cliffside snack. Okay, I gotta go to bed. Okay. Kids, night, Mr. G. Stop screaming. Night, have fun. Until Dad pulls over the wagon. Night, Jack. Night, Gloobies. Good night, wife. This is such a good game. It's cute. Is it, have you played farther than this before, or just this first? <gasps> this I've never played the first list. chapter. This is still the first chapter. But I don't remember any of this. Hmm. You're gonna give up after the first chapter, okay? Yes. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, I mean, if chat likes it, we'll play more of them. So. I think chat likes it. What do you think, chat? Well, this is obviously something. What do you like it, Mr. G? Ah, yeah, we love it. It's a fun game. <laughs> What's that? You want another cup of tea? What? What they say? That's so weird. Why would they say that? That's so weird. Well, they gotta make their own tea, sing as they're in their own houses. <laughs> Um, he will play all the way through it. I like him. Okay. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Nothing we can do here. Obviously, something will happen soon, I think. How about... Interesting thought, but that did... Grandpa, that's not going to work. Okay. All right. All the way to the end. I know these chapters are very long. So I don't think we'll probably finish this first chapter tonight. Even. How many chapters are there? I think like five. Hmm. I remember thinking, dang, this is a long chapter. And then you gave up? 
We finished it. Did the kids watch you? I don't remember the, they watched you play this. Mm -hmm. so I don't remember this. Maybe we played uh, Day of the Tentacle as well. I remember you playing Day of the Tentacle. Not yeah, let me play this after. after. I better stand on this side of the rock. Mm. Was that pre donut princess? How long ago was this? I don't know, like 20 years ago. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. I wasn't what strong enough to move that rock. The first chapter is free on uh, Steam. Oh, nice. Okay, we can't move that rock. Now we're back here again. We'll keep going down here. Do the squirrels like berries? Didn't you Maybe. get some berries? We did get some berries. Mm. They were very good. But um, okay, good night. Okay. Your puns are nowhere near as good as I their that, puns. I heard they're pretty good. I said it. Uh oh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Action scene. Did I win? Whoa! Holy moly! There's a beast. The bridge attached to him? It's a bitch tool. Hey, thank you for that. It's not stomping around on people's backs. Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. Um, careful, I've slain many monsters before. Because I'm a bridge troll too, or I will return with a better tasting food. Um. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, I am quite sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would say. Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, what do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Um... Do you know where I can find an eye? Why do all the bridges break, uh... Why are all the other bridges out? Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little Goosey, until further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. For too long have we, the bridges, have been stomped on by sharp-pointed shoes of the puny guards. Hmm. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not. As Pilar says, for shame, Daventry. We're not going back to work until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting, but Ophie always shows up fashionably late, <laughs> right when the croissants are served. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find an eye of a beast, would you? Is it time for the tournament already? I thought that was on Tuesday. Oh, bother. My memory's failing again. Alfie's been suffering from sleep deprivation. A very rude monster has been snarling in the bushes behind my back. Is this monster you speak of hideous, perchance? Snarling Snarlax is legendarily hideous. Those puny guards of Daventry would surely be impressed by his eye. It is rumored. The beast has two purple eyes with bright blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. Purple and I'll blue. You cross and perhaps even help you with that fire-eyed monster. But since Ulfie didn't eat you, Ulfie needs a pick-me-up. This big tooth is a sweet one. If you bring me something to eat, I'll consider helping you. Uh, okay. Um... What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those Everything, horns maybe. are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfie was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. 
Can you tell me about that Snarlax's eyes again? The legendary flame-eyed monster back there behind me has purple eyes with glowing blue pupils. Ophi will help you retrieve That's them if what you we bring need. a sweet tasting snack. Happy trails. We paint Waddle the pumpkin purple Ophi and put a starving. blue flame inside him. Uh, sweets. Uh, those are sweet, but only when cooked. Oh. What's a mushroom dome? Mm, those are sweet, but only when cooked. Oh, okay, okay. This is one of the options. So we've got multiple things we can do. Uh, I don't know if I can use the sweet berries. I never on. waste food. I never waste food. Or maybe bell for me on this thing. That didn't need a bell. It didn't need a bell. Oh, wait. Here we go. Now I got this thingy. Can I use this thingy on that thingy? Surely now it can be worked, right? Um, that pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. Right. Um, yeah, the, the beehive, maybe. What was that again? A lot of running in this game. Oh, yeah, you're over here. Um, let's see what we can do here. Maybe, yeah. Oh, wait, can I use the uh, thing here? Oops. Oh, there's nothing down here. Julie, have a good night. Thanks for being here. Oh, where was that bee? Oh, the beehive was over here. Where was it like that again? It was over here. Well, there goes the stick. So that's good. <laughs> I guess we need to do that at some point. Uh, let's clear out the bees. He lost his stick. Yeah, well, that was where the stick was supposed to be used for. Um, I guess I didn't need the honey. Um, and then back over here was this thing. Okay, let's go back down here then. There wasn't any food on there. Well, maybe, I mean, maybe we could put food on there. I don't know. I guess we can put some food on there. I don't know. That's a thing. Um, can I look at it again? I'm going to do that. Oh, I can't even look at it anymore. Uh, so that's obviously something that's going to come up. I don't know. And the obstacle there was to get rid of the bees, which we've already done. So now when that comes up, we've already done that task. Which is great. Uh, yeah, maybe go to the bakery and, and uh, do something with these berries. You got to steal the meat law. Um, you think so? I played it. <laughs> You're just telling me what to do. I mean, we guess we could try that. I guess I don't know. Uh, can we do that though? I don't think I can like even like 
touch the meat. Or maybe we can untie it. Oh, there we go. Now we have meat. Hooray! There was that one, uh, that one, um, there's one way to get it. Use the meat on this thing. And I could use that on the pumpkin to get rid of the squibbles. Will the squirrels remember that? <laughs> the squirrels will most certainly remember that. Okay, good. Now we have that. Uh, I bet if you paint, uh, paint it purple, put the flame inside, then I think that's the eye of the big beast that was described by the troll. You know what I mean? This will work great for dipping. Go ahead and dunk it. Ta-da! Hmm. Purple. Well, uh, yeah, ta-da! Here you go, boy. And now... Yes, boy? Um... Ooh, how much for that candle? Oh, everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. If bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin oh fairly well just Your give him the thing be filled with knowledge now give us one shiny gold coin and the beautiful blue flame lantern will be all yours So you spent your only coin to buy the lantern? Yes. I did. I figured that lantern would light an alternate path to find an eye. Thanks, dearie. And here's your lovely pumpkin lantern with a glowing blue flame hand. That looks like an eye to me. Alright. Let's hand that in. We did it, I think. There are probably other ways to do it as well, but we, we did it our way. Um, which makes it interesting. Like other adventure games is usually just one way you can do a thing. This is like, you know, multiple ways you can finish it. Yeah. Hey, sweet. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we still have to do the troll thing, I think, but we can, oh, hang on. We're going, no idea where I'm going. There were three choices. Can you just do all three? How do I actually get to uh, West Tournament Theater, uh, West. North Town Square, South Under Development coming next spring? So if I was here, uh, what we'll do is we'll turn this in, then we'll play a little Minecraft. How's that sound? We fix that film. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Yeah, we could jump into some Minecraft. You don't know about Minecraft. <laughs> You in there right now, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, West is the... Uh, how did I get there again? I forgot how I got to uh, this place. Is there a map? Uh, no. It was this way and then down, right?
Yeah, this way and then down here. Seeing all these new recruits makes me miss the old days. Ahem. Are you paying attention? What? No, I was reminiscing. Sorry. Are you in possession of an eye? I'm ready for the presentation. I have extracted an eye from the most hideous of beasts. Well, the snarling Snarlax. It's so purple and flamey. Right this way. Well done. For those brave souls Yay. that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. Ah. But proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Oh, hold still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the whole jaw of them. Oh, he has the actual one. Oh my gosh. I thought it was the two-eyed snarling Snarlax with six legs, three claws, and one tooth. Oh, I've heard of a three-eyed species, but very rare. You just completely made that up. My uncle once caught a five-eyed. Congratulations, everybody. We officially accept all the eyes presented. I'll see you in the duels. Take that and that! Oh, Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? You know what? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. Slay. Take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. <laughs> you will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theatre for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. And good luck to you! Oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot. Has anyone seen that archer knight around? He probably headed home. He mentioned how hard it was for him to be away from his family. Whisper saw him headed towards the dark, scary well. Well, proclamation 463737134673787633.1 and a half states that any knight who voluntarily leaves a competition needs to sign the release form on the back of his portrait. We've had problems in the past. Do I have any volunteers to track down his signature? Wonderful. Thank you, Pockets. Here's his portrait. If you could get him to sign it, that would be great. And talk to me if you have any further questions. Let the duels commence. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll pause it here for now. Hope it saves it. Hopefully this is a good save point. Uh, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and assume it saves it constantly. It always saves. Sweet. All right. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. All right, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be right back. One second, jam. 